<sighs> title of this video is how to find what you love and um, yes yeah, actually very simple not necessarily easy uh, there's two steps two steps uh, step one is cultivating space for love and step two is explore now with step one you have to realize <clears throat> finding what you love is more to do with realizing that you are the love uh, you don't have to it's not so much what you're doing, it's how you're feeling while you're doing what you're doing. Uh, so, it doesn't matter what activity it is, let's say you're in a good mood, in a good mood, no matter what you're doing, even the most boring task can suddenly be the most interesting thing and fun thing. And likewise, if you're feeling like poo, <laughs> then even the most interesting task can be the most boring task. So it's more about cultivating the feeling of love. Now, there's, yeah, so love, uh, that goodness feeling is your natural state of being anyway uh, look at babies look at children they're the definition of love and um, so to be love you just have to remove all the, the garbage the junk that you don't need in order to, to experience who you are you don't have to do anything you just have to remove the garbage and uh, so there's three three main sources I've identified as uh, the sources <laughs> three main sources I've identified as the, the causes of hate or fear if you will um, so one is the activity itself, two is consequential hate, and three is energetic hate. Uh, you can feel free to interchange fear and hate, they're kind of the same thing. Anyway, so with number one, the activity. So there's two ways you can deal with this. Number one is you can uh, stop doing it. <laughs> stop doing what you hate, whether it be a job or anything, you can stop. Uh, just stop doing it, you don't have to, no one is forcing you to do it. I know it's not that simple uh, a lot of the times, which brings me to number two, to another, uh, another way you can deal with this, is to realise the activity uh, and the reason, the objective of why you're doing it, they're not disconnected. Uh, there's there's got to be a reason why you're doing something that you hate, something that you want as a result of doing what you, what you supposedly hate, right? Uh, and if you realise that the activity itself is not disconnected, you can actually be grateful for what you're doing, and realize it's actually getting it's actually helping you get what you want and it's not disconnected so you can carry that attitude if you will of having already gotten the result because it's, it's the stepping stone uh, you don't complain if you're climbing um, a set of stairs because it allows you to get it's just what it takes to get where it where you want to go uh, if the cost doesn't justify the result you want at the end of it <clears throat> then stop doing it no one's forcing you to do it uh, so that's number one, activity hate. Number two is consequential hate. This one, uh, consequential hate. This one is basically th that thing that you like to do, but after a while or shortly afterwards, you hate. Uh, you hate. You hate the fact that you did it. Like, uh, say, eating something that you really like to eat, but afterwards feeling really guilty. Again, these low emotions literally block you from feeling good in your life. Uh, so you just stop like creating the habit of feeling good for like 10 seconds or 20 or a minute and then feeling guilty for the rest of the day. Uh, I know it's, it's, it's simple advice but uh, it's true if you just stop that you can remove all this like emotional turmoil inside of you which prevent you from feeling good. It's blocks, it's like a lens, uh, it blocks the lens. If, uh, love is just like the clear see through lens. Uh, emotional negativity, hate, it's just like the gunk inside stopping you seeing. So you just have to remove that and stop actions that lead to hate. Um, for me it's like things like uh, Netflix, um, it's because I, I, I don't do well with moderation, obviously I'm not saying don't watch Netflix, if I, if I start a series and I really like it, it just takes over my whole life and I end up feeling guilty when I look in the mirror, the black mirror right, <laughs> and I just stare at myself like what am I doing with my life. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, that's how to remove, just stop doing what eventually leads you. Just observe your patterns and uh, see what triggers uh, negative emotions through guilt or even depression or anxiety. Uh, just stop doing it. And uh, number three, number three is energetic hate. This is like, um, this is when you feel drained or down, perhaps depressed after being in certain environments or certain people or after certain food. If you feel tired after, whether it be eating certain thing or being around certain environment or people, then you've been consumed. <laughs> you've been literally sucked out dry. And uh, yeah, this again creates negative emotions inside of you. If, you know, love is like high energy, this creates low energy and you're just like drained down again. You can't feel love, you can't feel love and uh, low emotions at the same time. So if you wanna feel love, you have to remove this source of energetic drainage in your life. Uh, 
simple but effective. Uh, so stop surrounding yourself. In a Exploration. Exploration. Once you've created this space for love, then you are free to explore, uh, try new things, try new hobbies, uh, just see different things. Let's just assume for a second that you haven't found what you love to do, that thing which sparks and lights up the fire inside of you. Uh, so it's not in your environment. It's not, if you just stick in the same environment, uh, you're not gonna find it. You have to change some aspect of your environment. Uh, either a physical environment or a mental environment, read new new information, or watch different things, surround yourself with different people, visit new places, try different hobbies, anything. Just try and uh, be patient. Uh, patient is key. Uh, yeah, almost have a like a a nonchalant attitude while you do it. Like uh, just you know curiosity. And when you do find what you love, you won't love it straight away. You won't be like, oh my god, this is you know the greatest thing ever. It's more of a, a gradual, like you build and then you invest. It's like when you meet, like a, it's just like a, a relationship, like a love relationship. Uh, you don't love the person straight away, you have to build. It's the same thing with like a, a certain activity or something that you that you like to do. You have to build and invest and it takes time, but eventually and more and more you love it. So it's that kind of thing. So yeah, that's my take on how to find what you love. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope this information has been useful to you. And if you feel like Someone could benefit from this, share the video if you liked the video, or like the video if you have any questions, ask, I'm always eager to respond, and I think that's about it, that's about it, see you next Sunday, have a beautiful day, have a beautiful week, Philosopher, out.